Hey, what is going on guys? So today we have some pretty exciting news. So as you guys may have seen, we have a brand new Yuffie figure from the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. So yeah, this is just amazing to see. You know, I think we all expected to see Yuffie, but I just didn't think it would be so soon. I mean, we just had the reveal of Jesse, Red 13, and Rufus. So you know, the fact that this figure was just announced so soon is just kind of insane. We have so many new play arts, Kai. I think we're all gonna be broke by the end of the year. But anyhow, with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, stay tuned guys. So we also had the reveal of the new Cloud Strife and Fenrir. It's not so much a new figure, it's more so like a re-release of the original figure back in 2019. You know, this figure was sold out for the longest time, and I know a lot of you guys out there wanted to pick up this piece. So yeah, now is your chance to finally pick up this figure. It's also released pretty soon, as you guys can see, it's coming out in November, which is only like 5 months away. I already have the set, so I'm not gonna pick it up, but I would say this is probably by far one of the best, if not the best, Play Arts Kai. Final Fantasy figure out there, so I highly recommend picking it up if you guys haven't already. Next up, we had reveal of Sanon. I think that's how you say his name, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, looks to be a pretty nice figure. I'm actually not sure who this character is. I don't think he was in the original game, I think he's a, I think he's a completely new character that they made for the Integrate. But uh, yeah, I just don't know who this guy is. If someone can let me know in the comments below, it would uh, really help to clear things up. So yeah, here's how he looks. I mean, great piece. Nice sculpt, nice paint, and uh, yeah, pretty cool design. He doesn't really look like a main character. So yeah, I think he's like a companion to Yuffie. I don't have the PS5 integrate, but yeah, I can't wait to finally see who this character is. He, uh, he seems to be a pretty cool guy. The release date is gonna be July 2022. So this figure is a long time away. I mean, we're talking over one year. I think this figure is the furthest away out of all these Final Fantasy VII Remake figures. Really have no idea why, but uh, anyhow, that was a quick look at the Sanon. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name properly. But anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at the main event. So here we have Yuffie from the new Integrate. And guys, I am just so happy to see this. You know, they previously made one Yuffie figure from Advent Children. And that figure is super rare. I mean, it's been sold out for so many years now. I think a lot of people missed out. On this initial figure, so you know, the fact that we have a new Yuffie is just such great news. And I'm really happy to see her. I mean, as you guys can see, she's got a completely different outfit. Like all these cloaks and drapes. Which is very different from what we've seen before. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. I do quite like it. But I'm sure once the Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 is out, and we finally see the reveal of Yuffie's new outfits, I'm sure we're gonna get a nerder Yuffie figure. So yeah, just keep that in mind, that we're most likely gonna get more figures of Yuffie. Okay, so as for the release dates, it's gonna be June 2022, which is exactly one year away. So you know, once again, quite a long time to wait. I really wish this figure was out at the end of this year, I think that would just be amazing. But anyhow, here's a look at the figure. So I've gotta say, I do like this new design. I mean, as I mentioned before, this is how she looks in the Integrate. I'm sure she's gonna look so much different in part two. You can see all the detailing in the clothing, like all these folds and creases sculpted in there. It seems to have a pretty nice paint job as well, like uh, the cloak looks dirty. It's all ripped up and tethered at the edges, which is quite nice attention to detail. As you can see, she's wearing this Moogle hat, which is super cute looking. I mean, I just love this design so much. I'm just very happy to see Yuffie and uh, I think the fact that they made the Yuffie DLC was just such a nice bonus for the Integrate. I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, we don't have that DLC for the PS4. But anyhow, I'm sure we're all gonna make the move to next gen sometime sooner or later, so you know, it's not too much of a big deal. So here's a look at the back. Once again, a quite nice detailing. It looks pretty realistic, like all these textures sculpted in there. And uh, here's a look at the figure in an action pose. So as you can see, she has a different faceplate, which uh, I'm really happy that they included this. It seems like Play Arts Kai are including these new faceplates with the newer figures, which I think is a great touch if you want to change up the expression for a bit of variety. So yeah, I think it's a good call. And uh, here we have the figure without the hood. So I'm not sure if the hood piece is going to be removable or if this is going to be like a completely new head sculpt 
which you can interchange. But anyhow, it's great to see that we can take off the hood and uh, you know, display the head sculpt so that we can see her face. Once again, it just adds a bit of variety. But me personally, I think she looks a lot better with the hood. And then here we have like a running pose, like this kind of playful childish pose. I mean, I guess she's still pretty young here. I think she's like maybe like 15, 16 years old. So uh, yeah, she's practically still a kid. So I guess it's pretty fitting for the character. And uh, yeah, I just, I just love Yuffie so much. She's such a fun character. We don't really see Yuffie too much. I wish she had a bigger part to play in AC. I mean, I loved her so much in that film. And that's probably my all time favorite design of Yuffie. So you know, once again, it's just great to see that we have this DLC completely dedicated to Yuffie. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see what part she has to play in part two of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And uh, here we have a couple shots of both Yuffie and Sanon. Yeah, they really look great as a pair. They've kind of got like the same color scheme, so you know, they just go very nicely together. And I think it would be awesome to display both of these figures side by side. So it's probably worth picking up both of them. I mean, Yuffie without a doubt is 100% going to be a pre-order. I mean, I'm definitely going to pick up Yuffie. What about you guys? Are you guys planning to pick her up? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what you guys think of these figures. So yeah, yeah, I think we do have like an alternate head sculpt. We have a couple pairs of hands and uh, of course we have her signature shuriken. Last up, we just have everything that comes with the figure, including the display stand. So yeah, pretty nice piece. It's a very impressive figure and I can't wait to see how the final product is going to turn out. Despite all the issues with the previous figures, you know, I'm still holding out hope that the newer figures are going to turn out good. I still trust Play Arts Kai to do a good job on these figures because at the end of the day, this is all that we have when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Remake figures. So they need to do a good job for the fans if they're not going to pass the license to a different company. So yeah, I mean, just fingers crossed that they turn out okay. Anyhow, once again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a lot more videos on the way, so be sure to ring that bell notification. Have a great day, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Alright, take it easy guys.